one. Howdy, totally new group of people we've never talked to before. <laughs> um, we're here to teach you about our smart water bottle. Um, we're going to be developing this within the company here. And we need to get it out to market here, hopefully within um, a year and a half to get it out by Christmas next year. Um, this is going to be our end product. We're going to have a water bottle that has a bunch of features. Um, the main feature that we're targeting here is we want to be able to take the drinking habits of our users and send them up to healthcare providers for a number of reasons here. Um, we've all been told we have to drink so much water a day. Uh, what we haven't been told is that's often based on body weight. And if you don't drink enough water here, um, it can have a lot of long-term effects on your body. Um, we're often thinking of the short-term effects, but long-term it can have a lot of effects, and not only um, to a healthy person, but it can have a lot of effects to um, already unhealthy people. Um, and we found that 75% of all Americans today are chronically dehydrated. So we're going to go over our sectors here to discuss who we're targeting with this product. Our, our first target, we're going to target our pregnant women because we know they have to stay hydrated for the, um, for the health of the child and for the body. Um, we're also going to target um, cancer patients because they have to stay hydrated for the drugs to work well for the system. Also, we're going to target um, the, the elderly and um, patients with kidney stone because they have to stay hydrated for their health and keep them healthy. And uh, our secondary targets is some people who work in the, in the office, some uh, gymmer and uh, some student and child who occasionally bring, uh, forget to drink water. Hi, I'm, I'm going to talk about the user experience. So first, the basic need. Obviously, the first basic need is the bottle it has to be uh, waterproof, no leaking, and it works. And the second the basic need is that the, uh, the app the water had to be able to connect to the health service provider so the doctor can can monitor the user water intake. And the third basic need is that the water bottle needs to have a separate compartment, not separate but attached to the to the water bottle so they can keep uh, for example medication, keys, something like that. And the fourth basic need is that the the apps has to have to work um, fast. No, there should be no delay for the uh, application. And for the experience needs, uh, first, uh, the water bottle need to be able to charge phones as well. Uh, and the water, water bottle is second experiment is the, we're going to use the Amazon Web Services for the entire thing. And we're going we're gonna to use more emphasis than needed to improve the availability of the service. And we're looking for five, nine at least. And then the uh, water, water bottle needs to be lightweight. Um, we can, uh, cannot be heavy. We know that we put our own stuff into this water bottle, but we expect it to be comfortable to have. Because uh, some of our customers are going to be cancer based and pregnant women, so they are not cheap lift or something like that. And for the assignment, we have uh, the fingerprint reader to be accurate, fast. And we're going to need the uh, one and all to have the GPS located. And this locator also needs to be fast and accurate. And the customer needs to, need to be able to locate the water bottle at any time. And then we're going to need the water bottle to be durable. We're going to use hard and plastic instead of non normal plastic. So the water bottle can be durable for the uh, people who are on the team and in case you drop the water bottle. And so for the first user case, we're going to talk about how to be the cancer basin. And for, the, for me, the cancer basin, I need the bottle with functioning in the hardware, the bottle. It's going to need separate compartment for my medication. Uh, and I'm going to need the finger, finger print reader. And this finger print reader will work for both the water bottle for me to access the water. And also for the compartment, only I can access the medication in my water bottle. And the bottle, the bottle should be able to remind me to drink water, give some kind of uh, my glowing light to, to remind me to drink water, and the time is play as well. So we keep track of the time for uh, the drink of water, so like that. And obviously, the material is trying to keep track of where my water bottle is. 
for the software part of uh, of the cancer basin, <coughs> software part of the need for me as a cancer basin, I'm gonna need three basic as function. The first is track, the second is setting, and the fourth is connect. The first part of function tracking is gonna be able to need to track my the location of my bottom uh, water, and, and it's gonna be able to need to track my uh, water consumption, how much I drink in in my day. day. Um, and how much I, uh, what time did I drink water, and how much, and how much water did I drink at that time. And this function can be used for privacy. So if you look into this and you see that, that, that sometimes the water bottle was open, but you did not open that, and you know that your uh, water bottle is uh, taken away. The second uh, is the setting for me to set the fingerprint, uh, obviously. And for me to set a reminder for printing. And for me to, for to set a goal, uh, so for example, how much water you want to drink in, uh, drink in a day, and how much water you want to drink in time. And the fourth is the most important one. This should be able to connect to my doctor, from, and my doctor should then monitor my level intake, and then send out to me, say, for example, you're not drinking enough water, we're going to need to be more honest. And the second person is to call this set the appointment with my doctor. Um, this tweet will have two uh, basic concerns, new and display. The, the new is for me to see the availability of the doctor and for me to select the data I want to know, confirm and finish. And then the uh, connect person also set the re appointment with reminder for me. Um, this can be a, a glowing light. For example, different light, for example, the first one is green, the second one, this one can be red, or something like that. And the display can give me the, uh, the opportunity to change my appointment. And of course, all of this should be should work fast, as there should be no delay in the application. And another alternative is that if the cancer patient is unclarified, so a legal guardian should be able to. Uh, set up exactly like this and this garden can look it exactly into the one consumption of my uh, consumption. And I'm gonna move next to the user case of uh, the uh, As you can see, uh, as a GMO, I want to check my daily tank of water and also I want to see how much water I drink per day. And also uh, sometimes I forgot my bottle in some way and I, I want to find it, so yeah. Uh, as you can see in the first, uh, first uh, picture, uh, the app has the number of cups in here and uh, it shows us how many of what cup of water you need to drink and how many left. And also uh, our application uh, has a version for smartwatch, so you can receive a reminder of a notification from here, and uh, finally is a uh, a map. When you need to find your bottle, you you will open the app and uh, see in there. And here is a process flow. At the first first time you buy a bottle, you need to connect it into the smartphone or smartwatch. And after that, you need to uh, fill some user information like. like uh, uh, weight, high, and how many activities do you usually do per day. After that, you can see the consumer water, and you can also create a notification, select a time interval, and sometimes you need to uh, take a note to uh, make some note like, uh, I will drink water with a pure, yeah, and uh, set it on the cloud. And finally, is uh, located. Uh, you will open the map and uh, see where your bottle is in the map. And uh, finally, it's make an alarm. Uh, sometimes the bottle is hidden in some way and you, you need to make an alarm to raise up. Uh, about the outcome expectation, uh, our application should have a good UI UX. For some uh, people who work outside, they need a night mode or day mode your app to see easily and they also need to see their data to calendar and sometimes they can see the whole view 
every day you drink the water. And next is uh, some special sound and uh, sometimes we need to back up and restore our data. About the acceptance criteria, we have a lot amount of daily drink water checks what how many glasses drop a day and uh, make a plan drinking schedule and also some of smart watch version and uh, some statistics. All right, so one of our segments is the healthcare. It may not be the actual end users purchasing these bottles. A lot of times it may be a healthcare provider purchasing this bottle and then we're giving it to the patients for the healthcare provider to track the water. So what we're looking for here is we want the data to come in to the cloud. We want to process it, calculate a rough hydration level, and then deliver it up to the user interface within the doctor. If we pull up a patient profile, we need to see, hey, are they hydrated enough for this medication? Do we need to notify them? And then there's another chain down here where the system's actually going to go through and look at that hydration level. And based on the medication that's in their profile, are, do we need to set an alert? Are we going to notify the doctor that, hey, they're dangerously low on their hydration and we need to remind them to drink water? Oh, and um, the acceptance criteria here is pretty much Yes, the data is getting up there. The outcome is we really don't want any negative effects from the medicine. If we're getting negative effects from medicine based on hydration level, we're doing something wrong. As a case for an elderly man, I know that I have to track my water intake for my health. I have to have somebody to remind me when to take my water to my pills and also have to find my bottle and to my specific. And for user experience, the application, I know like for the tracking, and I have to look at my body anytime I'm displaced because I'm an old man, so I'm displaced anytime. I have to track my water consumption every day for my health. And for the setting, I don't have to fingerprint for me to know like to know whether it's my health and my data. And to remind me to drink water every day. And also to set the amount set the goal and not the amount of water I have to consume, have to consume every day for my health. And also I can be to um, send those to my grandchild like, that's in charge of taking care of me. To know, okay, yes, I consume some amount of water this day, or okay, I have to consume some amount of water tomorrow. Or, and also share my profile with my grandchild to know of how my health will be in um, For the outcome expectation, I know okay, the app has to support our smartphone, our smartwatch app. Um, it has to support, it has to set a goal for the amount of water you consume daily. 